Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about a simulated unlink. Uh, so simulated unlink is the process like it is a kind of local search algorithm. So first we should know what is a local search algorithm. Uh, local search algorithm is like a uh, breadth first or depth first or any A-star algorithm, A-star algorithm, whatever we have discussed. Uh, it will have a tree structure and you're going to start from the initial node. Uh, we have a memory where you have all possible paths are put up together and we really focus on the path from the initial state to the goal state. Okay, for your what just problem, we have the initial state and we know the goal state. But the path that we take to reach from the initial state to goal state is very important. So when these path is very important, we can go ahead with any of the searching algorithm that we have discussed so far. But there are some other algorithms like a local search algorithm, which just focus on the current possible node alone. Okay, so we just have one uh, possible uh, solution or a state. And from that on, we'll be having the next possible neighbor nodes. We are just going to focus on that alone. So that is called a local search algorithm. Okay, it is going to explore the, uh, what is it, explore all possibilities. Like you are going, uh, we are just going to verify all possible moves over here. Okay, so this actually uses very little memory and uh, it has an infinite search space. So when you start somewhere randomly at a position, we can just focus on the nearby uh, neighbor node and we can keep on moving randomly. Like it is uh, it is similar to a random walk, but still the initial place is random and the next possibility move and all, we are going to take the best one and we are going to go ahead. It. Okay, so this is called a local search algorithm. And uh, some of the examples are hill climbing, genetic algorithm, simulated handling and all. So hill climbing, simulated handling will have uh, plenty of uh, intermediate states and you're going to choose the best nearby possibilities and we move on. Whereas genetic algorithm actually operates on some set of solutions. Okay, so everything is an optimization algorithm. And uh, optimization algorithms actually like, uh, you'll be having plenty of solution and you're going to choose the best solution out of it. Like you have a traveling salesman problem. A salesman will be visiting some n number of cities and there are multiple possibilities he can visit the cities. But the order in which he visit the city should minimize the cost. For these kind of algorithm, we can go ahead with genetic algorithm. Okay, where you will be having this plenty of possible uh, uh, combination of the cities, right? That can be taken as an initial solution and we can proceed on it. Okay, so I have been discussing about this working of genetic algorithm, working of hill climbing in the... Uh, next next video so this algorithm actually focuses on simulated handling this video is actually focus on simulated handling so as the name indicates this is a process of heating a metal to a peak okay so any metal or any solid when you are uh, heating to a peak it will change its state from solid state to liquid state and once after uh, heating it to a peak we are going to reduce it uh, in a minimal account like uh, like we are going to carefully reduce the temperature of the heat and the resultant metal that is formed will be more solid. Okay, it will be uh, it will be thick and it will be in a proper solid state. Okay, so that we are going to use the same process over here. So you are going to increase the temperature of a heat bath to a maximum value so that uh, the solid will melt and we are going to decrease it to a ground value so that the particles will arrange themselves and it forms a perfect solid state. Okay, so this is uh, like, uh, this is what the process that you're going to follow here. Heat it to a peak and you're going to close, uh, cool down slowly. So what is actually denotes now, like in hill climbing, we randomly start a place and from this place on, uh, we are going to proceed with uh, the next possible neighborhood, which is better, might be a maximum value or minimum value based on the function that we have taken. If you, if you want to maximize it, we can go ahead for taking the maximum nearby node. If you want to minimize it, we are going to go ahead with taking the minimum value of it. Okay, the problem with hill climbing is it will some way struck up with the global uh, local optima and uh, local optima or local maxima. Okay, if this is the global max minima that is needed, somewhere when we are starting it, it may have a possibility of striking it up over here. Okay, so what does the simulated handling do now? Like it is going to start it initially with a peak amount. Okay, so for the first step itself, like it starts somewhere randomly with all the jumps and we are going to 
start the process with the peak value of your temperature. So the initial value that we have taken could have been actually crossed this minimum functions in all. And then we proceed on cooling value. Okay, finding the nearby nodes with the uh, next possible better value. Okay, so we'll be calculating energy function and we have a temperature function. So initially everything goes ahead according to the temperature value. So we are going to use some uh, Boltzmann distribution functions or some, some of the activation functions like this to calculate the initial uh, possible configurations. And from there on, uh, at the each step, Okay, each step one node is formed. You are trying to find the nearby neighborhood values which has a uh, next to better possible move. So we'll be calculating the uh, energy function. So if X is the new, X dash is the new node that is formed and X is the present node, we are going to calculate the energy function. And if this is less than, like the node that we have selected is better, we are going to take that as the starting point and we are going to proceed on it. And if the node that we have chosen is having a lesser value okay if it is having if it is not the better possibility what we do now we are still accepting the node with the probability so we are going to choose a random value random value from 0 to 1 and with that probability we are going to accept the node that you have chosen as the best as the next possible move and we are going to proceed on it okay so this is very important in case of simulated unlink where it does in it is not there in your hill climbing. What does your hill climbing do? It, it will check only for the best possible nodes. Okay. But in case of simulated running, even if you have some nodes with a minimal value, we are going to accept it with the probability like this. Okay. First, we have an initial state. If the initial state is a gold state, we are going to stop the process. Or else we are going to start with the maximum temperature energy move. And then we are going to randomly pick the neighbor as X and we are going to calculate the del value. Okay, so if it is the goal state that is needed, we are going to return the process or if it is the better one, we can proceed on it or else we are going to check for this random value. Okay, we are going to calculate a random value and the value that we have taken over here, right? This del value we have calculated. And based on a comparative analysis with certain probability, we are allowing this node that is taken to be the next initial state and we are going to proceed on this process. Okay, so this means that we are not ignoring any null, any, uh, what to say, like um, down paths. Okay, sometimes we need that down paths also to take to take an up. Like when we stuck up in a local uh, minima, then the next possible move, if you are allowing to the next possible move, then we can proceed on accepting the, see, I'll show you here. In this place, if you got struck up over here, hill climbing will keep on striking up since the no, nearby node will have a minimum value rather than this. So the process will be stopped. But what happened with the simulated unleaving is it will check for the next possible node and it accepts along with the probability. So when it is accepting along with certain probability, we can keep on moving to reach the global optima. So that is how your simulator and laying box. Okay, with certain probability, we are accepting the nodes. And I'll show you an example of how this energy function can be calculated. This will be like your heuristic function. Any possible ways you can use this heuristic function. So one possible way is for this eight puzzle problem. Uh, this energy function can be calculated as, uh, see, you have initial state and goal state, and you have some intermediate state. And what you're going to proceed on is uh, the value, the heuristic value that is calculated is each step when you take one integer, where it is actually present in the, like when you take one, it is actually present in the position two, but it has to be there in the position one. So two minus one. And when you take the value two, where it is one, two, three, four, fifth position, it is present, but it has to be present in second position. So this is how we are going to calculate your or say we have to calculate your energy function for each and every variable where it has to be present and where it is exactly present, we are going to subtract the values. With that, we are going to get a value that is called an energy value. Okay, so this energy value, or you can call it as this is what we have calculated as a heuristic function in your A star and AO star algorithm, right? So with that, the next possible move here is, like this is the initial state, the next possible move is, I have an empty space over here, I can swap seven here or eight here. So when I'm swapping seven, 
you have a separate energy function calculated. When I'm swapping with 8, I have a separate function calculated over here, 11 and 12. So this 11 and 12 are more than this 10. But still, even though the value of the energy function is more, we can accept these two nodes, one out of these two nodes with a probability. So that is what your simulated annealing do. Even though the energy function is low over here, we try to find the next possible moves out of these two and then we can proceed on finding the river value of it. Okay, so we check with this node as A, find the energy function, calculate your uh, del function and you have to find this e to the power of del e by t and with certain displacement we are going to accept this node as the next possible node and we can proceed on going ahead okay so i think you could have got an idea of what uh, the simulated and link works and what is the actual meaning of this local search algorithm it is going to actually focus on the current possibilities that's it, it is not going to store the entire possible tree and trying to find a path from source node to destination node. We just need to reach the goal node. Okay, when the goal node is found, your task is completed. We are not sure about, we are not, it, it is not needed that which path we have taken to reach the goal state. It is not needed at all. Okay, our task is to find the goal state. That's it. Okay, for these kind of problems, hill climbing or simulated and link works better. Even genetic algorithms works better. Okay, thank you.